So, uh, Charlie from Real Broken Films here in Manhattan at the workspace uh, building where I just finished my uh, interview here with Shaul Magid, uh, a, an amazing scholar and has a real handle on the uh, Orthodox community, both the ultra-Orthodox and the Hasidic community. Um, so the interview was great. Uh, <laughs> after testing all my gear last night um, and setting everything up, there's a couple of things I can muse about. I went and bought a bunch of cheap uh, packy blankets from Harbor Freight, thinking, you know, that room is very live, let's, let's, let's do that. And I went online to price uh, blankets with grommets, and they were ridiculously expensive. So I have a grommet kit, so I grommeted all the ones, and I saw this great hack on, um, on YouTube. I don't remember who did it. But and I'll I'll go back and find out to give credit where credit is due. And I got these command hooks, these five pound command hooks, and I put them on the wall. And that was supposed to hold the packing blankets. That would have worked perfectly if the grommets weren't smaller <laughs> than the hooks. So I'm gonna have to go get um, either bigger grommets or smaller hooks. But um, I did punch holes in the fabric and I hung it anyway so hopefully that helps and I put a lot of sound blankets on the floor uh, but that wasn't the bigger problem so I set everything up and my V battery which I thought was charged <laughs> was on for about a second and the Ninja Fi was working and the camera was working and everything went on and I, of course I didn't bring the other battery because why would I need the other battery I did bring the small batteries for the Ninja 5 and the, camera, and the, and the R6 and um so I swapped out the batteries, I put the battery in the Ninja 5, put the battery in the camera, and I rehooked everything up, and that goddamn Ninja 5 would not recognize the camera. I unplugged it, I replugged it, I turned it on, I turned it off, I looked at settings, it would not recognize the camera. So now, I have two cards, and what's good about the R6, it's got the two SAM cards, the two, you know, mini flash, whatever those things are called. Um, so I, uh, oh, and this was my first day using the iPhone as a, as a B-roll camera. Um, I've got hello, welcome back. Um, I'm about balancing this on the steering wheel outside the building. Um, I did order the Mos uh, gimbal, which should be here in a couple of days. I'm going to bring that with me, um, to Massachusetts next week and hopefully to Montana. However, um, thinking on my feet. I basically just got rid of everything. I plugged the, the Saramonic uh, uh, preamp in, into the camera, uh, headphones into the into the camera, and no, I'm sorry, headphones into the Saramonic. Plugged that into the boom mic, and went directly into the camera. And I shot 1080 uh, 24 to the the, the, the flashcards because. Um, I didn't think that the 4K, I'd have enough space to, to shoot 4K. So this particular interview was going to be in lovely 1080, but we know that the R6 shoots lovely 1080 anyway. So, but anyway, uh, this was our first trial and error on the road. I will be going home now to figure out why the Ninja 5 didn't work. Um, but uh, I got the interview, and that's the most important thing. So when you shoot, be ready, <laughs> be on top of your game. Make sure you bring everything you can possibly bring. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's documentary filmmaking by the seat of your pants. Anyway, it was a good day. I got a great interview. And um, that's it. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, please give it a thumbs up anyway, because I had a day. Uh, if you want to know more about my documentary, go to www.realbrokenfilms.com to get me, Charlie, at charlie at realbrokenfilms.com. And that's it. Remember... Keep shooting! <laughs>